Joseph H. Guidry is a previous DGA Award winner for Full Bloom. Other projects have included Say It to My Face, Netflix After Party, About Last Night, and Brain Games on the Road. And he's a nominee this year for The Big Brunch and the episode Car Bloating Brunch. Uh, Joseph, I love the show. You've done reality competition programs before. What made this show different for you, I guess, as a director? Um, this. Oh, can I say one thing real quick? Go for it. Three-time nominated. Three-time nominee, yeah. Yeah, three-time nominee in a row. Yeah. Did you say that? I said you won. I didn't say the three-time nominee. Hey, all right. I I want to make sure. (laughs) (laughs) I knew you were a nominee. All right, I want to make sure. (laughs) (laughs) No, the, um, uh, this, this, this show, the approach on this show, um, I mean, this show, when, when I was uh, opposed with, uh, you know, with directing this show, uh, I know it, it, this is this is a creation from the the wonderful mind of Mr. Dan Levy, right? And I, it, you know, and the show, the Big Brunch, right? It's like my approach on this one was a lot like any other show, a lot like any other show that I've done, especially for HBO Max, because. HBO Max is a is a premium uh you know uh, streamer right we we it's all about being premium right that's 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 the the crust of uh of, you know of, of HBO Max and this show was falls right into that same line and I was super happy that I was able to uh to to be able to bring this show to life and and do it uh in in a way that I had done previously with like with the Full Bloom series um, there's a certain style and formula that me and my team and my DP um, have acquired over the years from working together for so long. And, and we were able to take that same style and approach and format and bring it to, to brunch. Um, the, one of the differences that we felt, uh, which, which makes this show a lot different than the previous shows that I've done, the production company, Boardwalk, pictures uh mr andrew free right mr uh chef's table uh mr documentary documentarian himself right we took the documentary world and and way of in format and the the way that 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 they do things and we took our reality competition format in the world and the the way that we do things and we melded them together Hmm. and it wasn't a, a perfect you know fit you would think that documentary reality like it it would fit perfectly it wasn't there was different ways that you know that they were used to doing things there were different ways that we were used to doing things but we were able to find something in the middle and work together and we created something super duper special and i i love that you know that experience that we had together um you know and, and and i love the fact that we were able to to find the magic in this show whether it be casting the set was amazing um, you know, our, our operators, our lenses, everything, everything just came together and, and, and we just, we created this magic in a bottle and we were able to show it on screen. Yeah. I, I love the show. And I'm glad you brought up the set as one of the things I wrote down. Cause I would not seen really a set like this, especially for like, kind of like a food competition show or whatever, or like these kind of shows that we've seen. And I guess, can you talk about how that informed you and like how you kind of like use the set to its fullest advantage, I guess. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. We, uh, David Korn, Scott Moses, those guys are amazing at what they do. And uh, this set, you know, we were uh, I was brought in early, obviously, in the beginning to uh, to help, you know, uh, guide how, you know, where should we put this camera hole? Where should we do this? Um, and, and that that process was was amazing. It was very time. You know, it took a, took a while. It took a while. I mean, that that set honestly was going to be even bigger than, than what it actually was. Uh, but, you know, we, we kind of had to have a couple of meetings about, you know, about budget and uh, we had to bring things back and bring things back a bit. But uh, but the set was amazing and, and they really did a great job. Um, when we walked onto that set, th- actually, there was a, a whole something that I had never used before. And I don't know if the other directors have used this before, but there was certain technology that we utilized. It was like with this VR g- glasses. Right. So what Scott and uh, what Scott and David did is they they uh, they worked with the company and they they basically built the set before the set was built in a 3D atmosphere and i put on these goggles and i was able to walk and look around and see how we were going to shoot this you know how we were going to shoot like oh this is where the kitchen's going to be they'll have you know 10 uh, stoves over here there'll be you know the bar will be over here there will be a door divider here this 
goes up. Like it was amazing to be able to, to, to be able to utilize that, that, um, you know, that technology and be able to see the set before the set was actually built. Yeah. That's awesome. Do you like when you're doing these and you mentioned like the casting and stuff and Dan obviously is a judge and all, everything kind of comes together. How much are you working? Like it's not performance obviously, cause it's a reality competition, but how much are you working like with, like, I guess with the, like with the, with the cast and the, the contestants, I guess. And like, how did you, how does that work for you? Like from a directing standpoint, from a directing, from a directing standpoint, working with the actual cast. Yeah. And he, and Dan too. Yeah. Like, and Dan, well, yeah, when it comes to the, to the, to our hopes and our judges, to Dan, yeah. Will and Sola, they have ears. So I'm in direct communication with them. Um, you know, and I can tell them what's coming up next. I can tell them, Hey, I need you to step right or left because you're blocking a shot, you know, a shot of Daniel or, or, you know, so we're in, we're in direct communication. I'm always in their ears, but when it comes to the actual cast, that's like more of a, uh, a standards and practice type of a legal situation. So okay. we don't really sure. talk to them too much, you know, um, and, you know, for, for obvious reasons, because it's a competition based, you know, on $300,000. So, uh, you know, if, if I talk to a cast member, uh, you know, I'll say something to the entire cast. Sure. Uh, you know, I can't pull people aside and have a little one right. with them or anything like that. Right. Yeah. That's cool, though. Yeah. And then can you talk about like a little bit like from a food competition? I guess the food in this looks delicious. It just looks so good, I guess. Like, how do you go about, you know, making sure it looks right? And like even like the ones I found it interesting, like even the even like the like when the judges in this episode, like I think there's a couple of ones where the 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 dishes are not up to maybe par compared to like some of the other ones. Right. Like, or at least that's what the judges say. This yeah. still stuff. The stuff looks great. It's, <laughs> so it's like I was like, oh man, I mean, it, it looks appetizing yeah. to me. But maybe there are certain things about it that are dry or whatever. But I mean, how do you kind of like think about that? And how did you do that, especially in like a food show where you have to have like, I'd imagine that makes it even more difficult, right? Because you're dealing with like the dish. I, I guess I just couldn't even. How do you kind of handle that? Like, yeah, making no sure the, the food looks right and like all that stuff is coming together. Yeah, hundred percent. So with the uh when, when the cast is making when they're in that in these competitions they're making plates for the judges uh for their for their tasting but they're also making plates for beauties as well okay. um so when they're done with their time they'll hand their you know the plates off to the judges but then there's a plate that literally goes back behind the scenes that the audience never sees that goes to into uh, into our beauty world and that's the second unit that's an entirely second unit and uh our second unit dp uh his name is matt chavez um, and he is actually one of the DPs of Chef's Table from Boardwalk. And he is amazing. He's amazing. He and my DP, again, the, the two worlds meshing together. Uh, he and my DP, Sebastian Jungworth, we all came together and we talked about how we were going to shoot our beauties. And, and that's an entirely different uh, uh, a second unit camera. Second, I mean, an entirely big setup on a whole nother stage. Big setup. Um, and that's how we're able to make those things look so, so good because... Uh, chef's table you know that boardwalk does that, that stuff looks amazing and and we were able to do the same thing for this show as well yeah this, we, we have to wrap up this is an incredible show and like i said it's really i really enjoyed the whole thing but why was you're nominated for the, the car bloating brunch episode why was this such an important episode do you think or like you know why did this one stand out for you and like kind of like you know uh, compared to the rest of the show and all that stuff yeah this one actually stood out a lot because uh, this was one of my favorite episodes, right? Yeah, this was one of my favorite episodes. I, I, I love this. I love the show. I love all the episodes, but this one really, really hit home uh, for for me and my crew, and uh, and Boardwalk, uh, and HBO Max. Right? Um, we love this episode so much. We had to put this one forward. We had to put this one forward. The uh, you know, I don't know if you've seen the, the entire the entire season, but. You know, all of our show, all of our episodes look so amazing. But this one, this was our, I think, uh, episode 104, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So we were really starting to find our groove when it came to camera angles. We were really starting to find our grooves when it came to our judges, you know, speaking to our to our cast. Everyone just started to to come together. And I felt that this was the episode where things just started to, you know, started to all come together and make sense. Yeah, it's an incredible show. And I would say, like. It feels like a show that's been on for, you know, it's so well done that it feels like it's like in the m many seasons, not just the first season, you know, that kind of thing. Like when I was watching, I was like, this is so it's a very high class show. Like you said, uh, Joseph, Joseph gives you a three time DGA award nominee, one time winner nominee this year for the big brunch. Uh, thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it. Thank you, Christopher. Take care, everybody. Thank you.